You know. Ha. Huh. I was not ready for that, but you know what? We're gonna find out. Clean up. Let's see what he. Let's see what he's bringing to the table with it. All right, leading off. All right, Ling definitely looking for some of these start these combo starters. Okay. Now I'm sure that Ling is really excited to be uh, playing uh, playing, playing offline again. again. Uh, Peach is one of those characters where everyone sort of agrees at the very least to high tier. Yes. So offline some people. I'm sorry. Online though, I remember seeing this spread. Yeah, the Peach had one of the worst matchups, like or that, worst like so, yeah, rates that, in yeah, the game. Yeah, that was the that was the PG stats uh, spreadsheet that had uh, that was talking about just like percentage of pick of uh, characters pick versus the win rate. And funny enough, Peach and Days were both pretty low, both as far as usage goes and as far as their win percentage goes. Yeah. Although still not as bad as Crom's. Really? Krom had the single worst character pick and percentage one of all the characters on that list. It was incredible. Why? I mean, I feel like Krom would be an okay character on uh, Maybe Roy's just better. Hey, you know what? You know who was not in a low win percent range window? Palutena. Palutena was among like the top like seven, I think, of like most picked and like best win. Like, it was a fairly, fairly average win rate, maybe slightly above average, but she was one of the most commonly picked characters. <laughs> oh. Yeah, all right. You know, so let's see. Oh, here comes the Ling combo. All right. Get, all right, 63. Yeah, 63. I feel like that's the low end for, for Peach. <laughs> Un yeah, or finally I, I let you go early. <laughs> it's like when your teacher is like, hey, you know, we have uh, it's been three minutes left of class, but you can leave early. Everyone go to recess early. <laughs> all right. You, you know what? See, definitely he's trying to stay in. He actually takes it with that explosive flame early, so... Oh, we'll see. Maybe he, let's see if he has a way to make a comeback. Although he's got to make it past the turrets and the neutral air. Oh yeah, that, that neutral air on that from that float is just such an impressive force. All right, I and like the, the bait uh, from the I like the bait from Ling Ling to throw the turnip and force him into a jump. Oh man, and now he's still managing to keep on this pressure. Yeah, he was. He definitely was feeling nervous. He definitely went for that jump just a little too quickly. All right, right I, now. I honestly think we might see the character swap to uh, Donkey Kong next game. Might, probably. I think that this. I think C's looking for a, lot, a little bit more day on where these openings are. He's like, oh, that's a stitch. There that's it is. a stitch. Here comes there's. Oh yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look at him hanging out on that platform. Oh, the stitch is gone. Yeah, but I mean, okay. Actually, now all of a sudden C's starting to come alive here. Seventy-five percent. What? Forward smash. Yeah. You know, I like it. He was in the corner. He didn't really have a way to extend it. Just go for the big hit. All right, nice grab. Yeah, that was actually the extra smart part of that is he was holding the turnip, throws the turnip in the other direction, and C wasn't able to, I don't think he recognized fast enough that Ling Ling had a grab act, like accessible will do to him. So that was a great trade on his part. Ooh, from that far. Wow. <laughs> the booty bump travels, dude. Thank you for flying, booty airlines. Making nonstop non-stop flights all the way from San Francisco to New York City. Making stops all the way to the blast zone. <laughs> for our, for our first-class customers, we now have Side B. No, he's going to stick it out with the Palutena. Yeah, he hovered over Donkey Kong for a moment, but... I think he yeah. just doesn't want to... I think just the, the sheer potential of those combos on Donkey Kong was enough to deter him. All right, we've got a winky face, but Ling throws it away. Yeah, looking for that first possible opening. It seems like C is actually the first one to get it this time around. But, <laughs> but I mean, Ling's probably going to look at that percent he took and just think, watch this. <laughs> Although I he's mean, not really giving him a chance to get it, though. I know, that's the thing. I feel like the neutral is much, much cleaner this time around. C not giving him any opportunities, as you just said. Carefully shielding in just the right places. Going for a lot of these turnips while he has the time for it. He's definitely just like taking a sweet time with some of these, uh, with some of this facing, and it's working out for him. Right, How's the recovery? I like, I like the recovery with the umbrella to dodge the down tilt, down tilt from Paltana. 
historically been considered one of the best two framing options just for how long it stays out. And how low committal it is exactly. as well. But now Ling Ling finally with maybe a little bit of momentum. Ooh, no, nice. in fact, he shuts that down, catches the turnip, and puts him into the heavens with that up air in one fell swoop. Now, see, let's see how he can extend this lead. He is at the nice percent. So if he gets hit once, he's going to lose a huge advantage. All right, although that one hit from the neutral is all that C needs in order to get it going. Right, he's got him in a common situation. Ah, oh, but I don't know. I'm surprised that crap missed. All right, not all right, not still not not looking terrible for Ling yet, but he's definitely got to try to find an answer soon. See, he's definitely like establishing his footing here. He seems to have realized kind of like what was going on the last time. Down there, backer. Yeah, not quite enough to kill though. All right, Ling makes it back. Still not quite able to find any openings though. Like C is really just like putting it on lockdown with all the, with all these options. He's really also just not getting up in uh, Ling's face either. Definitely just wants to avoid like any sort of overcommitment. Neutral into the, the, the all right, the New York Classic. Yeah, and that's gonna be three stocks to one. Massive, massive lead for C here. Right, you know, after that, how that game one went, we were thinking maybe you just lose characters, but no, she just needed to have a better approach to the neutral, really, because that's the difference here. I feel like Ling never has the opportunity, or even when he does, she just so carefully picks his options, is avoiding those hits just like that, dashing back and forth and able to get all of these punishes. Okay. All right, yeah. Nice option from Ling just to jump away and get out of there. He's got to make something work, though. This is like, this is it for him. Right, Ling trying to clean this up here. All oh, right. going to do it. Nice throw. Right. Let's oh. see what he can do to kind of make up for some lost ground here. Yeah, I mean, he does have turnip in hand. One solid Ling combo could at the very least, you know, that could be the start of something. Although, C is demonstrating he's in no, he's in no rush to get anywhere. He's oh, yeah. more than content to take his time and wait for the opening to come to him. And notice how he's going to the platforms also once Ling has a turn up in hand, so that even if he does get hit, he doesn't get hit by one of those crazy peach combos. Exactly. That patience on that platform, especially. Look how look how far he just puts himself back to make sure he can't he has room to react to whatever Ling chooses to do. However, Ling actually still turned that situation around on him. All right. Ling had a neutral air, tries to go for the second one, but a quick up B is actually gonna get C back to stage. All right, this is the point where if Ling does take this stock, which is not going to be super easy for him to do, it's not outside of the realm of possibility, but already having taken 150 mm -hmm. no, like, The defense from Steve right now is just an iron wall. It's impeccable. And right. there comes out. Yeah, just shielding in the corner, recognizes the moment that he can go and punish that forward air, and that's going to be 1-1. One, one. We're moving into game three here. Really quick, just shout outs to C for making the adjustments he needed in order to turn that around for that game, too. Let's see. All right, it looks like. I think if triplats aren't ba banned, I think we could possibly see triplats. It felt like the neutral. <coughs> excuse me. The Not neutral here. that time around was just in C's favor very decidedly. So maybe going to a shorter stage or a stage where you can. All right. No, not quite. Uh, actually, going the opposite direction, going to like one of the longer stages. That is true, but at the same time, I mean, that doesn't even feel like uh, the issue was him at the ledge, so. I wonder what the exact thought process is here. Perhaps we'll see once this match begins. Oh! <laughs> that was just such a call out. He's like, I know you're just going to neutral B right at the start, and that ain't safe. <laughs> Alright. Both, both of them are just, just kind of scrapping for control over this ledge right now, if I'm being honest. Honestly, a big part, of, if you're looking at the change in game plan here, Ling Ling far more focused on pressure. You know, they felt like, you know, C was carefully choosing his shielding opportunities in that last game. This time around, though, Ling throwing out those moves that properly, really effectively hit space on shield. So, right. C has not been able to get nearly as many out of shield punishes. And where are you going, buddy? You doing all right? Yeah, he, he's, minus, he's just do, living his best life down there. All right, how's he gonna get back though? See, he's got this corner on lockdown. All right, he's gonna casually make him make his way back. 
really smart. They're trying to avoid that down tilt at all costs. And now we have a very even game between these two. Only about 1% separating them. But more important than that, you know, both of them in the red. They're both starting to gape into the maw of death percent. All right. It's the, uh, there was there was an idea there from Ling, although he just wasn't quite in position to pull it off with the turn up. All right. Now it's C's turn. Let's see if let's see if he can get anything going. Wow. Be beautifully outspacing the neutral air from C. And right now Ling Ling looking for the actual kill here. All right. Complete follow through. The dash attack actually catching Ling. Not enough to do it just quite yet. Right, neutral air. Not quite. Oh, okay, but he does have one of his good turnips. All right. There we go. Neutral air finally gonna take it. All right. Ling back in the lead, something that was strangely absent from the last from the last game. So now it's his chance. Ooh, okay. Ooh, nice. Is that gonna take? Wow. Okay. All right, but about forty-seven percent. You know, that's one peach combo, but that's uh, a a decent also, chunk of a lead. Yeah. But it could also be like close to one Palutena combo as well, if we're honest. Honestly, it feels like at least this game, even when he gets hit by one of those Palutena combo starters between DI and the positioning of when he gets hit. He's not really eating massive damage. Look at the look at the turn of play coming out from Ling Ling right now. You see that? He actually manages to get two light edge guards and then catch it, hit him with it after he got through it. Yeah, no, th th honestly, Ling Ling has definitely come alive for this game three here. And yeah, once more, so carefully and effectively spacing it on uh, C's shield here. Yeah, he's no longer going for those shield guards because he knows they're not going to work. Down tilt up air, not quite enough just yet. 142% onto C. One more big hit, one forward air, one neutral air near the ledge. Side but the side B. Do it. We saw that come out game one. Here it comes, and now it makes its glorious return. All right, this is Ling's moment. What's he going to do with it? All right, nice way to dodge the explosive flame. Kind of expect, saw that coming. All right, he was ready for it. All right, there's the down air to start. All right, nice lip, nice push onto the platform. Look at him just dancing around his shield like that. Just there's like an elegance to it. Yeah, no, and that's that was that has been the difference maker here. See, already taken 79 percent, and it doesn't feel like he has an effective answer. He's starting to drop shield now, and Lingling is already anticipating it. Actually, getting the stronger punishes with that forward air. So he has to close out this stock. He has Ling Ling at the ledge. This might be his opportunity to do so. Looks for a roll, but Ling Ling does not give it to him. I don't know. I think I think C's starting to feel a little flustered. I think the nerves are starting to set in for this game three. Ling's got a lot of momentum going right now. <laughs> I like that he just floats casually out of the way of the auto reticle. I mean, honestly, it's up the Ooh, there's what he was looking for the whole time. Both of them were kind of looking for those up smash roll reads, whether it was in the corner or just like out of disadvantage from I the mean, pressure.